Hi friends, my name is Miss Annette, and today we're gonna talk about naming feelings. So last week we talked about having strong feelings, right? And when we have very strong feelings, like feeling frustrated, what do we do? We put our hands on our tummy and we say, stop. Remember that? Now we're gonna talk a little bit more about naming our feelings. So I have a new picture to show you. This is Gabe and his teacher, okay? Another child just called Gabe some mean names. He didn't like it at all. Do you think Gabe feels comfortable or uncomfortable? Yeah, he doesn't look very comfortable. How do we know? Doesn't look happy, right? The teacher notices Gabe's head hanging down. Do we see that? His head's a little down. She talks to him about his feelings. She asks him if he can name how he is feeling. How do you think Gabe is feeling? He might be feeling a little sad, right? Maybe a little worried. might feel a little upset. Gabe says he feels sad. Naming the feeling helps him feel better. The teacher asks why he's feeling sad. Gabe tells her about the mean names. Telling his teacher what happened helps too. His teacher goes with him and helps him talk to the child who is calling him bad names. Pretend you're Gabe and pro practice calming down. Okay, so how do we calm down? We put our hands in our tummy and we say, stop, right? Sometimes it can be hard to name your feelings, but, but talking to grown-ups helps. Like how Gabe, talked to his teacher to help him name how he was feeling. He said he was feeling sad. Remember, it's not okay to call each other names in our class or even at home, okay? Because we might hurt other, feel other friends' feelings. So we're gonna go over how to calm down. And I have a calm down poster, okay? So first, we're gonna put our hands on our tummy and we're gonna say, stop. Then we're gonna name our feeling. So depending on how we feel, that's the name we're gonna choose. And if we need help, we can ask our parents or an adult or a teacher to help us name our feeling, okay? And we can have all sorts of different feelings. We can feel happy, we can feel sad, we can feel surprised. But when we, do the, when we need to calm down, they're normally strong feelings. So these strong feelings are probably sometimes sad, they can be worried, scared, frustrated. Those are some of the feelings that we might have when we need to calm down, okay? So we name our feeling, and then the next one is taking belly breath, okay? So then we go ahead and we breathe in and out. Breathe in, breathe out. So we're gonna go ahead and sing our song following all of our steps, okay? So we're gonna repeat the one we did last week and add on the other two. When my feelings very strong, very strong, very strong, on my tummy go my hands and I say stop out loud. Okay, that was our song from last week. Today we're gonna add on to it and remember, we're gonna name our feeling. And the last week we had our feeling feeling frustrated, okay? My feeling, yes, it has a name, has a name, has a name. I say I'm feeling frustrated. I say the name out loud. Okay, and if we have, um, if we need help describing or knowing what our feeling is, we can ask an adult. Then the last one 
is taking belly breaths. Then I take some belly breaths, belly breaths, belly breaths. Then I take some belly breaths, cause breathing calms me down. Remember to follow our calm down poster. If you need any help calming down, we have these very strong feelings. All right, friends, thank you so much. Bye.